five questions about dual GPU. Let's, let's get into it. So I have a computer system from the exact corporation that has dual H100 GPUs. I've been using this for, I have it for about a couple of, about two weeks to try out some things with multiple GPUs. This is high, high end. This is server room type GPU. Most people, myself included, will only see these in the cloud. These are, you can see the stats to this particular system here and it's, it's, it's a beast of a system. These are $40,000 GPUs generally. And huge thank you to Exact for helping, helping me with this channel in the past, giving, giving me access to some of this hardware to show to you. So let's get in to those five questions that, that I have. I did this video a while back and it was I think in 2001 and it was pretty pretty popular so I am upgrading it now for 2023. So first question, do two GPUs combine into one big GPU? Sort of, but not completely automatically. It depends on how the software underlying is written. It's not like the two GPUs just kind of magically combine into one. If you buy a second, a new GPU that has twice the memory of your old one and you just put it in, yeah, that's pretty magic. Usually it's just going to upgrade because a lot of the software will detect what's there and, and use it. And B-Link is the technology that really gets, brings these computers, or these GPUs together. And it does allow them to both map into the same address space and other neat things like that. But it, you still have to do custom programming and if you're what you're using under the hood like if you're using stable diffusion I haven't really seen versions of that that make use of multiple GPUs they may be available definitely let me know in the comments if you've had success running stable diffusion with multiple GPUs things like StyleGAN 3 very much automatically just takes takes care of it 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 is directly programmed into it Another key question is, can you use this? Like you've, you've got a limited amount of money today, but you might have more money in the future. Can you buy a weaker GPU today and then get a second, say, weaker GPU, put them together and get that performance? Could you combine like two 3080s into, into something greater than a 3090 uh, or 4080s into a, a 4090? Yes and no. Uh, it's, first of all, you can mix and match. So you could mix a 4080 with a 4090 and there might be some benefit there. You're going to have, you're going to have a situation though where they're not equal and what you're trying to parallelize across it, unless it's really custom written to that, that's going to be that's going to be like putting different size tires on a car. It's it's it can work, but you're hopefully the underlying software deals with it, which most I suspect would not. You can potentially buy a 3080, add another 3080 onto it, or 4080 for, uh, but. So this can be an option. I've always just bought the maximum sort of single GPU that I can get and largely stuck with that until the next one came out. And honestly, I'm in a different situation probably than, than many of you in terms of disposable income and also in terms of vendors sending me hardware for, for free. So you can buy one and then buy a twin for it later. Mixing and matching, I don't know, Have has anybody bought, say, a, a 4080 and then added a 4090, something like that? Def definitely let me know in the comments. I'd be curious to see what you've run into. And that actually got into question three as well. Can you mix multiple types of GPU? Like I said, mixing generations, bad, won't tend to work pretty well. Mixing different GPUs in a generation, you can do that, but again, you're gonna, you're going to have some balancing issues perhaps with how your software is going to make use of it. Cooling multiple GPUs. And this, this is where the NVIDIA workstation and also the H100. This is where 
really GPUs like the one that I have back there, which is a NVIDIA RTX 6000 ADA, those really fit a lot better in a tight situation. Same thing for an H for an H100. The GPUs, as you stack them together, these two ones, these are older, I use them as props, but they they take up two slots, just like the, the H100 would, just like the, the workstation class RTX 6000 ADA that I have in that machine will. I would much rather put about three workstation class GPUs into that system behind me than if I were to buy, say, three 4090s, because the 4090s are taking three slots each. I don't know that I could even cram it into that case. I would have to seriously think about what the cooling would, would look like. And the, the more workstation and server room class, they're blowers. So it's, they're, they're grabbing the air in and blowing it out the back. Whereas where the others are doing more of the circulation within the case and cooling can certainly become a challenge in those situations. Last question, NVLink. So this, this is a different scenario than when I did this video two years ago. NVLink has largely moved to the servers. So unless you are spending 40 grand or more on your GPU, you're not doing NVLink. You'll see it when you access these sorts of systems in the cloud or when Exact is kind enough to, to give me this system for a bit. But NVLink is largely not something you're considering if you're running it on your actual computer. NVLink allows extremely high speed communication between two GPUs at a time and multiple pairs of those on potentially a, a switch system running NVLink. This is the tech that the FANG companies are using to train ChatGPT and Llama and Alpaca and, and all these these others. You can literally have 256 hosts together on some of these crazy gigantic systems. But if you're if you're buying GPUs, putting them into your your own system, you're probably I mean you're not using NVLink anymore. It has moved completely to the server room. Thank you for watching this video and if you want to Learn more about artificial intelligence, machine learning. I have a class on here that I teach at a local university. I also showcase many projects that I work on. Thank you for watching the video and please give me a like if this was useful to you.